So Dr. Schultz, today we're gonna to be talking about medications for BPH. I know you have a lot of uh, patients who also have prostate cancer and BPH, so I'm kind of wondering what those first steps of taking care of BPH look like. Uh, probably a medicine called Cialis or Tadenafil, which is thought of more as a medication to restore sexual function, also is FDA approved to help improve urinary flow, just like the alpha blockers, which are somewhat more potent in this department, things like Flomax and Rapaflow and, and uh, Uroxitrol, uh, which relax the urinary passage. Uh, Cialis also does that. Uh, generic for Cialis is Tadenafil. And so it's a relatively mild medication, but certainly ha can be beneficial. It's probably a reasonable place to start for many people. What type of side effects would Cialis have? So Cialis is uh, known to relax the, the uh, valve between your esophagus and your tummy. So some men will get a little bit of acid reflux. Uh, it was originally studied as a blood pressure pill, so some men might get a little bit of uh, lowering of blood pressure and lightheadedness, some nasal stuffiness occasionally. Uh, for the most part, it's very well tolerated. It's taken by millions of men and, and uh, generally is effective and, and quite well tolerated. So if someone starts on Cialis to help with urinary flow, how long until they would see some improvement? Almost immediately. Uh, it takes about three or four days for the levels in the bloodstream to get up to uh, therapeutic range. Uh, but within a week, if people aren't noticing a difference in their uh, function, then it's probably time to look for something else. I think that's a good general principle in terms of medicating men who have urinary problems, whether it be from a big prostate or inflamed prostate or an overactive bladder is you're sort of stuck with a trial and error process. The reason is that we oftentimes don't know which of these three problems is going on. Is it the big prostate or the inflamed prostate or the overactive bladder or combinations of the three? So since people respond differently to different medications, the general policy is to start with a relatively innocuous medicine, try it for a week or so, and then see if symptoms have improved or are improving. And if you get excellent results, you can stay with these medicines long term. If you get partial results, you can use that particular medication as a baseline and consider adding a second medication to, to get further uh, improvement. Idea being that uh, we are looking at quality of life and symptoms as the endpoint, and, uh, and of course, also ensuring hopefully that these medicines are well tolerated by this individual. The idea of using medicines first rather than going to see a urologist to have a uh, procedure done is that the medicines have reversible side effects, whereas when you have a treatment done to the prostate, you're all in and you're not gonna be putting the prostate back if something undesirable happens. So usually the idea of treatment begins with uh, simple medications, uh, looking at outcomes, and then uh, if and then scaling up to more medications if necessary uh, if a single medicine doesn't do the trick. So often in ED we hear about Cialis and Viagra. Can you also use Viagra when it comes to BPH treatment? Yeah, Viagra only stays in your system for about four to six hours. So when you're trying to fix urinary situation, you're trying to get 24-hour coverage, which is only accomplished with the Cialis pills. Thank you so much for watching everyone. We here at PCRI are really passionate, not just about making sure that you guys are educated, but that you have a good quality of life. And that quality of life comes from being educated in the research, challenging your medical team, and having other support systems like support groups, other advocacy organizations, and educational methods that help you learn and get a better context of prostate cancer. You can learn more here on our YouTube channel, so go ahead and subscribe, and also visit our website, pcri.org. There's a whole host of information there. We are honored to be able to serve you and we hope you have a great week.